boil at now if he wasn't available in the spring if, if you see him out there but yeah yeah Andrew's, Andrew's doing great he's he's full go he's had had a great camp so far really excited to have him where's the competition for, for kickoff with him with Atticus with Grant that's what that looks like right now yeah you know that's something that we chart every day obviously tomorrow but being our first scrimmage will, will be a, a big factor into that too but we went we actually looked at the charts last night and it, it's almost dead even right now I, I, I think the next couple weeks will really provide some clarification for us both are really really good Along with Gage Hurick, who's a freshman, uh, he's he's right in the mix too. He's gonna he's super talented as well. When you're, when you're making those kind of determinations to onside kicks and those sort of things factor in swoop kicking, how how are you incorporating? No, that? not I mean, not really, because you could always sub someone in in those kind of situations if you needed to. Um, certainly, if they can if they can do that, it does help. Um, really, we just chart it. We just we just literally every three days we ch we go into Austin and we chart kicks, and it's pretty simple. We just base it on on ball location hang time and touchback percentage and then who's, whoever's going to give you the best opportunity to eliminate explosive returns you know just just looks at you just look at the numbers to be honest with you and then you got to put them in pressure situation because some, some guys can be really good at it at it in practice when no one's there and it's not the same with the fans and the distractions and all the things that come along with game day so you try to replicate that as much as you can as well yeah how do you replicate that you don't you just try to by putting them in situations uh end of practice the whole team runs if you miss this field goal kind of stuff if you you know, we're gonna have a kickoff competition. You guys pick that guy. You pick that guy. The losers have ten up downs. You know, you just try to put, replicate the pressure, but you can't replicate going into Odson Stadium and being on TV and all that stuff. It's, it's a different kind of mental toughness. That's probably the hardest thing to evaluate. That's why guys with experience are always a big plus because because they've done it on that stage before, and, and it, it's just different. You you really won't know until you see a guy in that situation. What have you seen from Atticus over the last you know couple of weeks, couple of months, obviously since spring camp, and how he's improved here? Yeah, he's he's really blended in well. You know, I think it's been a really good fit for him. He's excited to be here. He's he's brought another level of competition to the room. You know, as I was just saying, he's a guy that's experienced. He's been there. I think he was set in, second in the country last year in field goal percentage at 92%. So he comes with a pedigree already. You know, of, of a guy that's literally not talk about it, but he's been about it. And so uh, brought a level of maturity to the room, and and also. Um, you know, a guy that's been in a different program, and so he can tell the guys some of the things that are great about Oregon and how lucky they are to be here because some guys that have only been here, they don't always know the perks and benefits that they have of being at a place like Oregon, so uh, I appreciate that about him. How's the hunting competition looking? How, what did you see from Tyler? Again, very, very, very close with, uh, you know, Tyler's young. Tyler, Tyler's just a true freshman, so he'll, he'll, need, he'll need to come along just as all freshmen do. But when you talk about Luke Dunny um, and, and Grant, or excuse me, and uh, Ross, I mean, you got two really, really, really talented guys. It's it, again, we just looked at the charts last night with the, as a group, and it's it's literally neck and neck. So, um, you know, the competition over the, the simulated game days these next couple weeks is going to be really important, and uh, you know how how they can handle different types of kicks, pinning guys in, into their different field locations, um, some of those kind of things, and then again handling the pressure. But we have a couple of really talented punters. Certainly, see more bodies out there kicking off the turn, fielding the kicks. Do you feel like you have? that many more viable options? Do you have to pare it down here the next couple of weeks? What's that process going to look like? Yeah, I, th I think we have a lot of good options. I think you just said it right as having to pare it down. I think some of that is the chemistry together, you know, between the off returner and the returner with the timing with the whole unit. So, um, you know, getting a bunch of guys reps early and then kind of paring it down as you go through the next couple, you know, couple, three weeks of simulated games, you want to get to it where you're at least three deep on each side, you know, and then kind of build the chemistry between that off returner and the returner. But certainly I think we have enough uh, you know, we have enough bodies and enough talent back there that I think we can be explosive in the return game. Is there anyone truly off limits? Because obviously the last two years we saw Bucky didn't go back there until the postseason. And Troy went through the punt return motions in practice, but we never saw him in a game. Under, understandably to a point, but yeah, is there no. anyone off limits and who, who makes that call? The no, there's there's nobody off limits. You know, sometimes we try. I, I try to be smart with things. Certainly it goes to me first, and then obviously Coach Lanning makes the final decision. We, we meet on it every week as a staff. Uh, and then him and I meet separately as well. Um, but really, Bucky, Bucky not being on last year was my decision initially, and then obviously Coach supported it because once Noah went down, you know, you just were a little bit more limited at running back, and so we want to always try to look at the big picture. I don't want to just be good on special teams. I want to be good on offense and defense also so we can win. So, But, no, I mean, other than quarterbacks, O-line, D-line, no one's off limits. We'll play the best guys. Sometimes what people don't realize, like we only have two goals in special teams, own the ball, no penalties, right? Like, I don't care if we're first in the country in kickoff return as long as we own the football because we have a dynamic offense. If you give our offense the ball between the 20 and 30 yard line, we're going to score a lot of points, right? We want to eliminate negative plays and we want, we got to have guys back there that'll make great decisions. So even if it's not 
let's say we had a guy that was just crazy dynamic and you see him as a reporter or something, you're like, why is that guy not returning it? Well, it might, it might be that he doesn't have the best ball security or he doesn't make the very, very best decisions, right? So it has to be, that really comes first and foremost uh, in our process is who's going to give us the best chance to make sure that we're going to get the ball minimum at the 25. And then if that guy also is one of the most explosive returners, that's a great thing. How are you measuring progress for long snapping for someone like Luke? He obviously now has a year of experience doing it at this level, but like, what are you looking for day to day? Yeah, you're looking for consistency. You know, you're looking for operation time and ball location. And again, probably sounds like my job's pretty boring because I'm going to say we chart again. So we chart it every day. Every single snap is charted. We chart the, the time on it and the location on it. And then on field goal, even though it seems like a little thing, we chart like where the laces are and those kind of things. So. You know, people joke about laces back and all that stuff, but, but really when a ball is snapped, a, a good long snapper, the laces are always facing forward, and if they're not, it's actually a pretty big deal to the kicker. So uh, all that is charted, um, and I'm, I'm looking for you know no catastrophics, nothing where we roll a ball back or something like that, and then again, you know where's the ball placement? If we're going to punt the ball to the right, then the ball should be placed on the right hip. If we're going to punt the ball to the left, it's placed on the left hip. If we're going to punt the ball in the middle, it should be placed on the belt buckle. So we're, we're you know, literally just just uh, categorizing that every day, along with the times. And, and you've seen impressed like you get impressions so far in terms of the progress Luke's made there. Yeah, I'm super proud of Luke. Luke's Luke's one of the best long snappers in the country. You know, the last guy that, that I coached is Chris Stoll, who starts for the Seahawks, and, and Luke's every bit as good as him, no question. So now it's it's a matter of, of how is he going to continue to develop and, pro and progress, right? Looking back at the 2012 set, hey, uh, when you're on staff and you've got Dan recruiting staff and trying to be able to. What stood out about them then and to see? 2012 ASU, man, you expect me to remember who you're asking about? I'm sorry, I don't remember you're, who was even there. I've been a part of your a few boss staff since and then. then. Okay, see, Coach Lanning. See, yeah, yeah. And, and, and who else? And, and is it Coach Mike Kalowski, yeah. Yeah, to see them go yeah. from what was then to now. Yeah, so it, it, it's pretty cool. You know, it's pretty cool to, to be with people at different places. Coach Lanning and I have obviously been together, well, and Brian, too, at uh, you know, Memphis. Um, you know, it, obviously at Arizona State. And now it's, it's cool to see their growth, you know. Um, I always knew Coach Landing would be a superstar. That that was very obvious from from day one. He he was he was different than everybody else, uh, and certainly knew that, that Coach Michalowski had a bright future too. So it's it's fun, man. It's it's uh, well, people throw the word family around a lot, but you know as much time as we spend together and the sacrifices that we make and the relationships that our wives and stuff and our kids have, um, we really are like a family. So you know, like Coach Landing is, is like my brother. So um, it's pretty cool, man. It's pretty special. Last question. I thought it all was my 105 scholarship world show. Up, That'll open doors that are starting to get closed on, on your position in particular. Yeah, as far as specialists go. Yeah, well, all of a yeah. sudden you can have actually multiple scholarship pickers, punters, long snappers, and not just trying yeah, to I've actually, Yeah, I've actually lost sleep the other way, yeah. thinking that our numbers will probably go down. I, I think, I imagine right now we have nine. Um, I imagine we'll probably only be allowed six. So I think, I think that there's a perception that it's going to be really good for specialists. But I don't think that it necessarily will be. I think those spots are going to be extremely, extremely hard to come by, um, and you won't be able to take, you know, nine and, and sort out who the best guys are. You're going to, have to be very, very specific, very detailed. You know, that's something that's really undervalued in in football in general is is specialist recruiting. You know, you you can't make mistakes. If you make a mistake on a kicker or a punter or a snapper for that matter, you're probably getting fired because you're you're stuck for quite a while. Whereas if you make a mistake in a position where you have 10 or 15 scholarships. It, you got 14, 13 other guys to make up for, right? You make a mistake at one of those positions, and you're going to be in big, big trouble. So um, I think that those spots are going to be really, really limited. I don't think I know. They're going to be very hard to get, and you better be really thorough with the guys you recruit because the two punters, the two kickers, and the two snappers better be really, really good, or you'll be in trouble in a hurry. Thank you, Coach. Thanks. Yeah.